Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and you're good. It's the first week of January. I have finally put myself together because I have been very unwell. Done myself up today um, because I have been unwell the past couple of weeks and I've just looked like a dead rat. But this video is actually gonna be like a little declutter, I think. Sorting my life out, hopefully motivate you to sort yours out too, or make you do something that you've been putting off for ages. And my family are actually coming this weekend now that we're better. So it's also a good excuse to clean and get everything sorted for them as well. So yeah, let's go. I don't even know where to start first, but you'll find out in three, two, one. Right, first off, we're gonna sort out this wardrobe broom. I feel like it's gonna take me ages, but hopefully we'll get a good way through today. So I'm gonna sort out the shoe rack situation first with all of this pile of clothes on the floor. Aiden's got a couple rows at the top and then all of these are mine. And this is just like mainly my like storage space. <laughs> Doesn't wanna seem like I'm being unfair. Um, but yeah, I, a lot of these shoes, I just feel like I haven't worn them. They can go to a way better home on Vinted. So let's be ruthless and yeah get rid of some shoes i'm not wearing i have a load of these chunky heels in loads of colors and although they're not like on trend at the moment i feel like i'm always going to reach for them being a someone with wide feet i absolutely loved when these came about last year and the year before because they actually fit my wide feet in and i get to have breathing space i like the open toe style i love the support of a chunky heel the support of this compared to a stiletto heel is just amazing and i feel like although i love a little small court heel with a little stiletto just these are a lot more comfy for me so i probably will keep a lot of these style of shoes but that's my explanation because they're just a lot more wide wide fit friendly um so yeah i have them in that bright neon color i also have them in a pink like a barbie pink these ones are from aldo i actually love them and these are like a little bit smaller as well so even more wearable um i have some light pink ones this is where i'm like maybe i do get rid of a pair but these are more pale pink and then i've got some gold these are like gold croc print. These are from Simi Shoes that I got on shoe. I really like these. These are more fun and like party vibes. And then I have a, a bright green satin pair and then white croc print. And although these are actually like the highest and probably the most uncomfortable, I feel like white goes with it way more than some of the other colors, even though I do kind of like color clashing and stuff. But yeah, that they are a ridiculous amount of heels to own. Um, I just, this is where I'm gonna struggle because I don't know how to cut those down. And, and if I am going out, these are the things that I would, I'm gonna reach for. So maybe the next section I'll be more ruthless. And if I'm not, then I'm gonna just need to cut out some of these heels. I absolutely love these sandals, but they are broken. So I either need to fix them. Well, that's my only option really, isn't it? I need to fix them if they are fixable because they came out of this. So, oh, that's so sad. A classic black sandal is something I feel like I'm always gonna need, so. I need to write that down that I need to replace these um, if I can't fix them, but I'm gonna put them aside to see if I, what I can do. These, I had these custom um, painted a few years ago. And I absolutely love them. They're Air Forces, but with a, the tickers yellow and this sort of gray, taupey sort of color. And um, they are very dirty. They just need a bit of a scrub up. But other than that, I'm probably gonna keep these. Let's just go back to sandals actually for a second. So these ones I've got are from River Island. Again, really lovely and classic. We'll go with a lot of holiday outfits. Have this sort of cork-like uh, mini wedge, but they actually squeeze my feet in too much here, like the whole wide foot thing and bunions from dancing. I think I'm just gonna have to sell these. So these will be on my vintage. <laughs> sandals. Ah! I got these sandals custom made in Vietnam to my feet and I absolutely love them. So these are very recent and I'll probably be wearing these on every single holiday. So maybe I don't need a classic black pair and I can just work with those until until they break. Again, I've got these, these are from New Look and these are a like straw wedge, very holiday-esque um, chunky sandal, but my feet are too wide so do not fit very well in these mule straps. So I'm gonna have to put these on my vintage. I've got these bright orange sliders from monkey that i'm gonna keep i have these flip flops from asos that i'm gonna keep because i love them so much <laughs> and i like this like puffy sort of material on the strap so i've got these black um heels from quiz that i have worn to absolute death they're like really small oh this is where it's broken i was like i knew it's broken somewhere 
it's like broken from the bottom i've had these for years now so i'm gonna keep them until i find a replacement and just have to wear slightly broken heels i can't lie until they really really are broken so i'm gonna just keep them for now but this is not going well is it for declutter um but i am gonna sell these because they are beautiful but again my wide foot here the bunions they just feel so uncomfortable like i can squeeze them in but i will have a very uncomfortable night so these beautiful beautiful shoes i wish i had small delicate feet but it's just not reality for me i just have big big <laughs> feet these are going on my vintage too they're gorgeous snap them up ladies i have all my crocs at the bottom here but they're not going anywhere they are so comfortable i have these really cool like unique collab shoes from sketches they sent me these and it was with a design from jay goldwyn this collab um i really love them i think they're such a fun statement trainer and all of my other trainers are very neutral so i like that these are like a nice pop of color and i like that they're also very unique because they're a um one-off collabs no i don't know how to organize these I also need to give them a bit of a dust, don't I? I've got some Nike Hirachis, um, but I don't really reach for these. So I'm going to put these on my vintage. These are a size seven. Boots, boots, boots. These are a classic, like a cream, knee-high, welly style boot so these are going to be staying i've got some fake uggs like ugg dupes um from a brand called evelyn on tiktok shop and i actually really like these they're the little ankle brown ones with buttons and so so fluffy and cozy inside i'm gonna keep these these are boots from monkey so we've got black with a brown sole black knee-high crocs these white chunky boots they're a little bit worse for wear but i feel like we could try and clean them up they don't actually look too bad on camera and then these which are very long gone like look at all of these i wore these to death for every single night out for about five years so i think i'm gonna have to get rid of them i just keep them there for memories but yeah i think these are gonna have to go i feel embarrassed going out with them when they're like scuffed up like this bad you know that's it we've done all of well we've done all of my shoes that are in this room i actually have more at the front door like all of my trainers that they just stay there because i wear them more often but let's just not talk about them so i'll show you them if i bring any in here because we've got space now okay this looks a lot better now very happy with it and then i need to organize pop these on vintage these for the trash guys we are tackling the pajama drawer next look at what a state i've left this in i'm actually so disgusted at myself but it is what it is let's get them all out first i'm gonna get them all out and then decide which ones are going back in and which ones are gonna be put to donate i absolutely love this little and summer's number it's really lightweight and perfect for summer so i'm gonna keep this little set and it also takes up no space because it is so thin and small um i have something here that is broken so that is going to be put to the side to fix i am such a fan of chelsea peers they are my favorite pjs so i am gonna be keeping pretty much all of my nice chelsea peers pajamas because the quality is just insane and feels so nice on my skin so i'm just gonna go ahead and put away my chelsea peers stuff Orange set is so fun and again, super perfect for summer. Absolutely love the cotton on cozy loungewear and sleepwear. So they are staying. I also have just a couple of t-shirts that I like to throw on or like when I go traveling, um, sometimes just tuck a like a big oversized pajama t-shirt. So popping those in too. All of the remaining items I'm going to be popping in my charity donation. So a lot more organized and a lot more space so very happy there next drawer this drawer i usually have a variety of like trousers skirts jeans bottoms basically so this will be a good one to sort out i don't even know what i've got in here basically oh my god i haven't loved these shorts for the longest wait let me see if i can show you i have loved these shorts for the longest time but i haven't really reached for them recently and maybe they've got to go and um, so these will be on my vintage because i feel like Whenever I've worn these, I've had a lot of questions, so. Vintage time. Got some classic wide leg jeans here that I'm going to be donating. I love these brown trousers from Pull and Bear, so they are going to be kept. I've got these gorgeous new sparkly skirts from F&F, &F, which I will be keeping for party wear season and evenings out. Beautiful. I've also got some classic black trousers in my favourite style. So these are from Bershka, and they're just like a straight leg black trouser 
I've got some grey cosy loungy shorts from Goose and Gander that I'm going to keep. I've got an adorable skirt here from Reclaimed Vintage, but it, sli it slightly doesn't fit me, so I think I'm just going to sell this on Vinted. Big fan of the oversized flowy trouser. These are gorgeous forest green colour from River Island, and the quality is amazing, so I'm going to be keeping these. Exact same with these. These are more of like a creamy office wear pair. I need to give these a good steam, um, but yeah, these are staying, and they're also River Island fab fab quality then we've got some khaki sh cycling shorts which are always handy so i'll be keeping those and then finally what are these oh these are those trousers i've been looking for these for ages they were just stuffed at the bottom of this drawer but they're like really lovely black flowy trousers that kind of flare at the bottom they're just really really cozy so i'm going to be keeping those too let's repack my drawer Oh, a lot more room, love. So I just sorted out two more whole drawers and it didn't film any of it. And I also filled three huge black bin bags full of clothes to donate. I'm gonna be donating to Click for Clothing Collection because it has a lot of charities on there that align with me. And then I'm also gonna send some to the Homeless Project at the beginning of February. So I'm gonna save some for those too. They allow a lot more stuff to be sent. So I can also send unused like hygiene products and things like that too. Now that my camera is functioning again and I can see that it's functioning, Let's sort through my jeans. I really want to make some moves with these. Right, brown jeans, they're the only pair I have. I love that they're a nice alternative to black or blue. Um, they are slightly too big, but I just need to get a belt and then all will be well, so I will be keeping those. These, these aren't even jeans. This is a gorgeous, sexy black maxi skirt, and it's perfect. Just such a nice alternative to your classic jean. Why am I making excuses for all of them already? Okay, right. So we've got these gorgeous flares. They're the stretch bootleg jeans from Cotton On. I love these so much, the fit is amazing. So I will be keeping these and they're a dark blue. So, so far we've got all different colors. God, I'm actually usually really like good at getting rid of stuff, but I'm struggling today. Um, okay, so we've got these jeans from Rebellious that have a slit down the front. Mm, maybe I should get rid of them. Are too big, way too big for me. So yeah, maybe. We get rid river island jeans i really liked this style back in the day but i feel like i prefer other styles now and i've reached for other pairs of jeans so i'm gonna pop these away <laughs> and give them to charity and then we've got some i saw it first jeans that i've had for absolutely ages i'm gonna get rid of them because i'm not really a fan of the light blue this light blue and style anymore so and then finally, I have absolutely loved these jeans over the years. I bought them from Urban Outfitters a while ago. They're the Willow Baggies. I don't know if they still do them, but they're one of the only things in Urban Outfitters that actually fit true to size. So there you go. I think it's purely because it has a really nice elasticated waistband in there and pockets on the back as well. I'm going to pop these on my vintage. Great pair of jeans that's lasted me a long time. I'm just not reaching for them anymore. Right, jeans are all cleared. <gasps> that's so good. We've got the jeans down too. Oh god, I've got three pair of, three pairs of jeans. Wow, what a good that was a good declutter. So I've now only got three pairs of jeans. I do have a cream pair that are in the wash. And then yeah, I've got like a capsule jean wardrobe. <laughs> in my eyes anyway. Alright, so this is the fourth bag that I'm filling. I can't wait for these to go to a, a way better home um that stops hoarding things like me. <laughs> Perfect. We've still got some room to fill as well amazing so the final place i'm gonna tackle today and then i might do another declutter if anyone's interested um I'm, i haven't filmed one of these videos in absolute ages and i know it did well last time but i don't know if people are still into these videos if it like bring some sort of like motivation or um encouragement to sort out your own wardrobes and own lives and that is the intention or just to even just find enjoyment in me tidying up my messy messy room yeah the last segment i'm gonna film today is me trying to sort out all of these bags behind me that are currently just thrown in like honestly i am the worst human in the world let's go i'm just gonna scoop them all out and away we go Uniqlo crossbody bag is an essential, so I'm keeping this black one. I also have a creamy, stony coloured one as well that I'm going to be keeping just because they are so handy, especially on holiday. I bought this in a charity shop ages ago, but it's not... I have other options that are very similar, so I'm going to be straight back to charity for someone else to use. 
but it's a really nice little like cream shoulder bag this lovely black crossbody bag that i'm actually going to be selling on vintage just because it's something that i don't reach for anymore i have had this bag for absolute years if you followed me for a while you will have seen this bag somewhere at some point and i just can't part with it i absolutely love that i still use it every single year so i'm gonna keep it it's from asos and it's like a rusty satin all ruched ruffled bag and i just think it's so cute i i really don't know how i'm gonna arrange this yet i'm just gonna go through all the bags that i want to keep and what i don't i'm actually gonna get rid of this little orange shoulder bag again i just i'm not reaching for it and it's just sitting there waiting to be loved i love a big bag because they are so much more practical than those little shoulder ones and even better when it's fluffy and has texture so i'm keeping this bright orange one absolutely love it it's from a brand called luca luna in case anyone's interested but yeah i cannot part with this it is so cute and fluffy i've got lots of little basket bag options that i am gonna have to part with and only keep maybe one um so this is gonna have to go i am sad goodbye Oh, this cute ba bum bag is so cute. I got this in Guatemala a few years ago when I went there with my university in second year. Throwback. I'm going to have to keep this. It's such a cute memory and super useful for when I'm away on holiday again. I'm going to keep this little black crossbody bag because I like the style of it with the little buckles. These are two really nice evening bags that I'm going to keep. So this one is a sparkly one for a very fun occasion. This is from Quiz. And then this one is gorgeous. It's a sage colour from Cotton On. I think this is called the goldie if you're looking to buy online i'll see if i get if anyone's interested in anything in particular please comment so i can go find a link for you i have used this to absolute death and i will continue to do so so this i'm going to keep it's like a white and silver shoulder bag from monkey and it has an adjustable buckle strap so you can have it as long and short as you like i love keeping colorful bags just because i feel like it can pop and accentuate an outfit that is why i have so many and um, so i'm going to be keeping a couple of colorful ones for that reason as like contrasting accessories so i'm going to keep that green one there from simbono this bright blue one from primark this mustard colored one from naked fashion and then this pink one from little mistress this is one of my like only fancy ish bags i don't really like spending a lot of money on bags um i just would rather spend my money on holidays than expensive accessories personally there's a gorgeous little one from aldo it has a material fun satin ribbon around the handle and it's really cute this is probably the basket bag i'm gonna keep because it's so cute for groceries and taking on holiday this is gonna have to go in the bin because it is absolutely wrecked which i'm so sad about but it's absolutely broken to the seams i'm gonna keep this rust crochet bag and um, because i worn it to death on holiday last year and i feel like i will do so will do so in the future i'm also like unclogging my bags at the time that i've got like random receipts and lip glosses in so that's fun i am an absolute mess of a human we also have this which i bought in vietnam how cute is this it's like a little monochrome black and white checkered crochet bag and it actually has a zip at the top so it's super practical so i can keep everything that i need in it without stressing that i'm going to lose something and it's going to fall out i'm keeping these two brown bags um, just because they're good for every day this one i got in a charity shop and i absolutely adore it and then this one is from asos and then finally i've got a couple of fun bags that are good for like a pop of color pop of styling so i've got this dalmatian one this khaki puffer one the cream uniqlo that i was talking about earlier and then my personalized cream azurina bag if i'm wanting to feel a bit fancy lovely jubbly but yeah thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate it i am sorry i'm an absolute mess i've just left everything to festa like look all of these need organizing too so if you want to see a part two please let me know by hitting the thumbs up commenting down below if there's anything you like the look of i will try and find a link of some the same thing or similar online i've loved having you here thank you for your time you are the absolute best and i'll see you very soon for a brand new video bye